In this box I have got a motherboard that I want to use with my first NAS or network attached device. I actually bought two motherboards because I want to be able to try to flash custom BIOS or BIOS from another revision on this motherboard and if I break it I have another one for testing. So this is a server motherboard from Gigabyte with the Epic CPU on board. The CPU comes with just 4 cores and 8 threads, but this is more than enough for my NAS device. Over here we have 4 SATA ports and then we have one Slimline or SlimSAS X4 connector. So it can be used either as PCI Express X4 or as extra 4 SATA ports. Over here we have another slimline connector, but this one is PCI Express X8 and you cannot convert it to SATA unless you have an adapter. Then additionally we have M.2 slot for NVMe SSDs, USB 3.0 port for the front panel and the rear on your is two network adapters, both are unfortunately gigabit adapters. Then we have two USB 3 ports. One Ethernet jack for IPMI or remote management using this AST chip uh, and VGA output for the remote management uh, as well. Uh, then here we have some extra connectors which I'm not entirely sure what they are about and also this motherboard uses only one 8-pin CPU power connector so to be able to use ATX power supply, we need such kind of connector or converter, which was conveniently supplied by the seller. Uh, this CPU cooler is most likely very noisy and very annoying, so I will try to design uh, a bracket to install a proper Noctua fan, which would not be uh, that noisy and that annoying. On AliExpress I have already bought connectors for these uh, slim SAS and these uh, slim line connectors to be able to test what we can get from there. Other than that, this shall be a perfect uh, mini ITX motherboard for my NAS device. And if you are interested to see full detailed review of this motherboard, then stay tuned, it will be published on my main channel.